Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we are going to study the palmer arches. The palmer arches are basically the main part of the arterial supply of your hand. So palmer arches. There are two types of palmer arches in your hand, the superficial and the deep. Let's talk about the palmer arches. What are they formed from? What do they supply? And what exactly are they? So let's talk about the superficial palmer arch first. So basically the palmer arches are the chief blood supply of your hand. And today we are going to talk about the front of the hand arches. These are the superficial and deep. So the superficial palmer arch is basically formed from your ulnar artery. So if you remember from the forearm, the ulnar artery entered your hand passing superficial to the flexor retinaculum and here it gave a deep branch and it continued itself as a superficial branch. Hence the superficial branch that it continued as formed the superficial palmar arch which was joined laterally by the superficial branch of the radial artery. Let's suppose this is the ulnar artery and this is the superficial branch of the ulnar artery. It was joined laterally by the superficial branch of the radial artery. This is the superficial branch. And the superficial branch of radial artery anastomosed with the superficial branch of the ulnar artery and formed the superficial palmar arch. But note, note over here is important that ulnar artery is the main origin of the superficial palmar arch. I am using red pen to represent the radial artery so it gets easy for you. So the superficial palmar arch formed by the superficial ulnar artery again, it gives a deep branch. And once it gives a deep branch, it itself terminates as the superficial palmar branch and continues to form the superficial palmar arch. Laterally, it is joined by the superficial branch of the radial artery arch is lying superficially it is lying deep to the palmaris brevis then the palmar epineurosis and then comes the superficial palmar arch which is lying between the first and second layer of your palm muscles the superficial palmar arch lies higher to the deep palmar arch the superficial palmar arch gives supply to medial three and a half fingers the little finger is the ulnar border so this is medial one two, three and a half. This is what it supplies. However, how does it supply? It supplies via its branches. So let's talk about the branches of the superficial palmar arch. The first branch it gives most medially is known as the proper, the proper digital artery, digital, digital meaning digit artery. So it has to supply the digit, the little finger. This is the proper digital artery. It is giving supply most medial of to the a little finger and after this it gives three common digital arteries one two and three why are they called common digital arteries because these common digital they are common as they have to divide into two the lateral part of the little finger and one part will supply the medial part of the ring finger then we need a supply for this side as well so the next common digital branch will split into two and give supply to this part and this part. Similarly, the same for here. So three and a half fingers, one, two, three and a half fingers have been supplied by superficial palmar arch. However, we do not have a supply for the lateral part of index and the thumb. Remember this because we will talk about the supply of this in a while. Another important point is that the common digital arteries are also joined by the 1, 2 and 3, the palmar metacarpal arteries that are arising from the deep palmar arch. What's the point of all of these arches? The most main point of these arches are to provide anastomotic channel. An anastomotic channel, as I mentioned earlier, means a collateral channel. For example, one part of the artery is disturbed, other channels will open up and continue the blood flow the hand will not die the hand is richly supplied by blood due, due to these anastomotic channels so after this the three palmar metacarpal arteries join the three common digital arteries these are arising from the deep palmar arch however now we're talking about superficial palmar arch so now we know that this is the superficial palmar arch formed by superficial branch of the ulnar artery it is giving 
four branches and supplying the three and a half medial fingers. First, it's giving proper digital and then it's giving three common digital, which are joined by the palmar metacarpal arteries coming from the deep palmar arch. And then they split into two to supply the rest of the digits. And the palmar arch basically ends by anastomosing with the radial arteries, superficial palmar branch. And that is your anastomosis complete. So this was the superficial palmar arch. Now let's move on and talk about the deep palmar arch. 